Hello students, good morning. My name is Teacher V and this is Mathematics. Today is January 7, 2022. Okay, so now let's start. This is the part 2 of our lesson last Tuesday. So this was your homework. So I'm sure, I'm not sure if you already done with this but let me just show you quickly the correct answer so we have number one write the answers in numeral okay in number one the answer is nine plus ten equals nine blake paid nine baht for his ice cream and ten baht for orange juice how much money did he pay all together so Blake paid 19 baht altogether. In number two, the correct answer is 12 minus 9 equals 3. Ibrahim has 12 eggs cakes. He gave 9 of them to his little brother. So Ibrahim has 3 egg cakes. In number three, 11 minus 5 equals six so there are six boys in group four number four four plus seven equals eleven evie or eve made eleven balls of chicken curry 166 again this was your homework last time homework okay so now let's go to the next page write the number of sign in box and then write the answer in numerals example number one i bought three hardcover notebooks and eight paper bags notebooks how many notebooks did i buy all together so then i bought three hardcover notebooks plus i bought eight paper back notebooks i bought 11 notebooks all together so the answer is I bought 11 notebooks all together. Now let's go to the next page. So this time you have to answer this question. A fruit grower has 18 rows of durian trees and rambutan trees all together. Nine of them are rambutan. Nine of them are rambutan. How many row, rows of durian tree are there? So we have a fruit grower has 18 rows altogether. Then you have to add a plus sign, add a minus sign, sorry. A fruit grower has nine. So that means 18 minus nine equals 11 therefore a fruit grower has a fruit grower has 11 okay a fruit grower has 11 Number two, mom bought 12 ripe mangoes. Three of them were rotten. How many mangoes does she have left? Mom bought 12 ripe mangoes. There were three rotten mangoes. So mom has 
pass. So we have to minus it because three are rotten mangoes. So we have to minus three. Then mom has nine mangoes left. So mom has nine mangoes left. Everybody, please write it down. Okay, so now let's go to the next page. So this is next page, okay? So we have Granny bought. Sorry, I can't see it. Granny bought five cupcakes and seven cheesecakes. How many desserts did she buy all together? So Granny bought five cupcakes. So Granny bought five cupcakes. So that means we have to put to add plus sign. Okay. So Granny have five cupcakes plus Granny bought already seven cheesecakes. So Granny bought. 12 desserts all together. Therefore, Granny bought 12 desserts all together. So students, please write this one. Plus 12 and 12. Plus 12 and 12. Number four. Eva landed, ladled, sorry, Eva ladled two hard boiled eggs in brown broth from the cooking pot. There are still nine more hard boiled eggs in brown broth in the pot. How many hard boiled eggs in brown broth were in the pot? So we have Eva ladled nine. Hard boiled eggs in the brown pot broth. So we have to minus or plus it. There are still nine more in the pot. So therefore, we have 11 hard boiled eggs in the pot. Brought in the pot. So therefore, there were. Nine, ah, sorry, there were 11 hard boiled eggs in brown broth in the pot. So please, student, uh, write the answer. So this is number three and number four. Number five. Eva has 15 cartoon books. She has seven story books. How many cartoon books are there more than story books? So we have Eva has 15 cartoon books. So she has seven story books. She has eight more cartoon books than story books. So she answered, she has eight more cartoon books than story books. So this is number five. Now let's go to page, next page. Write the number in each box. Example number one. Eight plus seven equals fifteen. So you have to find a number that 
be to be added in number seven, and the result is fifteen. So if you add eight, eight and seven, the result is fifteen. So that's it. So next we have number two, fifteen minus seven. What is fifteen minus seven? Fifteen minus seven we have is fifteen minus seven that is eight. Okay, fifteen minus seven is eight. So that means the result, if you have to subtract 15 to 7, it's 8. Now, this time student, try to answer number 3. You answer number 4. You answer number 5 and 7. This is your homework, okay? Homework. Next, number nine. Nine plus seven. Nine plus seven. And, okay, seven plus four equals seven plus three plus one. So, the other way of finding the Addition is, you have to do it like this, 10 plus 1, or if you have to distribute it, 10 plus 1 equals 11. In the other the way is 7 plus 4, 7 plus 3 plus 1, that is 11. So 10 plus 1 is 11. So you have to just add all of this. The result is 11. All of this, the result is 11. And then 10 plus 1 also is 11. So make sure the answer should match or to should be 11. Okay? So next we have number 10. 3 plus 9. Then two, sorry, three plus nine, two plus one plus nine, that is twelve. Okay, so we have twelve. Twelve plus one plus nine, this is twelve. Ten plus two is twelve. So that means. The answer is 12. Okay? So, therefore, you have to find a number that the, you have to add, uh, add and then the result is 12. Number 11. 6 plus 8 equals 4 plus 2 plus 8. So, that is 6 Plus 8 equals 14. Fourteen. 4 plus 2 plus 8 equals 14. And then 4 plus 10 equals 14. So the result is 14. Okay, that's it, students. So please, this is your homework. Okay, answer your homework, this one. All right, so now let's go to the next page. Circle, this is 169. Circle the number statement that is equal to the number in this watermelon. 
there are more than one possible answer. Okay, so for example, number one, we have 15 minus 8 is 7. Okay, again, there are there are more than one possible answers. So you cannot only answer one, but you have to circle more than one. Okay, let's say number one, we have uh, 15 minus 8, that is 7. Okay? Okay, 7. Okay, next we have number 2. Uh, we have another one here. 14 minus 7, so that is also 7. Okay? So make sure they are, the result is 7. It should be match. So we have 7 and then 7. Because this one is, this one, if you add this, only 6. Right? And this one is also 6. So that means they are not correct. So you only two answers. So you only have two answers. Okay, so next, number two. We're what, done with one. Number two. So we have to find a number statement that is equal to the number in here. Okay? So we have to find a number that is equal to 12. Okay, so 8 plus 4, that is 12. You right? So we have to circle it. Next. 5 plus 7. Okay, so if you add this one, this as 12. And this one also is 12. Right? So you have to add it and it should be 12. Next, we have number 3. Number statement that is equal to 5. So we have to find something here that is equal to 5. So let's say circle the correct answer, okay? Let's say 13 minus 8. What is your answer? 11 minus 5, 12 minus 7, and then 14 minus 8. Okay, so this time, student, we have to answer this one. Okay, read the, this is on page 170. Okay, please read the story. Jewish mom always picks ivy gourd leaves from his house fences and hedges. She makes Joy's favorite ivy gourd leaf soap with minced chicken. Joey told his mom that he wanted to grow some other vegetables, so his mom gave him 10 baht to buy some needs at the seeds. Joey bought some lettuce and kale seeds and gave his mom to bath change. Joey and his mom planted vegetables together. Mom cooked some of them and let Joey se sell the rest. He sold the vegetables for 15 baht. Mom told him to save the money to buy more seeds. His vegetables are well known by his neighbors because he did not use any chemicals on his plants. Joey was very happy and he is eager to grow more vegetables. Okay, so this is page number 170. Everybody, student, write this down. Joey spent. How much? He spent eight baht on the seeds. Number two. How many? Uh, how much more 
Or how much less money did Joey make selling vegetables than buying the seeds? He made seven baht more. And then he made baht less. Number three, did Joey behave in accordance with the philosophy of sufficiency economy? So please, the correct answer is, yes, he did. He grow vegetable for his family so that they have got good vegetables to eat. He sold the rest and saved up money. Number four, what would happen if Joey continued to grow vegetables? He would have good vegetables to eat. He could also sell the rest, save up money, and help his family. So this is on page 170. That's it, student. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.